So on y axis they have given us momentum value and on x axis they have given us time. You can see on y axis the value is increasing. It means momentum is changing. You can see that initially the momentum is zero. So you can say here the speed of the object is going to be zero. Why? Because momentum is mass into velocity. Mass is 1800. If momentum is zero, it means the velocity of the object is also zero. Again, at this point, the object is coming to rest, meaning the speed will be zero. Whereas at this particular point, the object shows maximum momentum, meaning at this point object will have maximum speed. Also, if we see the x axis, it is time and y axis is momentum. If we take any two values and we calculate change in momentum and we divide it by time, we are going to get gradient of the graph. And this gradient of the graph is also going to be the force acting on the object. Why? Because force is rate of change of momentum that is change in momentum upon time. 